I've taken a little bit of a different approach in this guide. Instead of having an RSpec test that tests to see if the implementation is correct, we're simply going to build out a method that has already been called. So what we have here on lines two through four is a call to an interval method. Now this is not a method that's been created. We have to create this. So if we run this code right now, it's gonna throw an error. And what I want is the ability to create a wrapper method. So what the wrapper method will do is it'll be called interval and then anything that gets placed inside of the block, which means it's going to take a block as an argument, anything that gets put inside is going to get run every, in this case, two seconds. But this could be dynamic. It could be 10 seconds. It could be one second. It could be whatever we want it to be. So essentially what we're doing is creating a repeatable timer and this is something that comes in very handy when you're building a number of different types of scripts. Say that you're building something that watches for file changes and you don't want to run the script every two seconds or five seconds. You simply want it running in the background. This is exactly how you could accomplish this. So let's talk about how we could build this out. I'm going to create the method. So the method's going to be called interval and it's going to take a number of seconds as the argument. So right here, when we say interval two, here two is gonna get passed in as the number of seconds. So now that we have that in place, what we need to do is create a loop, but instead of creating a each loop or something like that, we're going to create a loop that simply goes in and it will technically would run forever. So this is a script that you'd want running, say, in the background. And just as a little side note, this is going to be a basic implementation. If you're doing this, say, on a server or something like that, then you'd want to get into utilizing threads and background processes. But it's not really needed for right here. Instead, what the focus of this guide is, is to create the basic wrapper functionality and also to see how we can utilize blocks. So here, what we're going to do is I want to say yield and then I'm gonna say sleep and then seconds. So what this essentially is going to do is when the interval starts, it's going to start the loop process. Every few seconds, however many seconds we passed in, it's going to pass to yield. So anything that occurs in the block, so it could be hey there, it could be a database query, it could check on files, it could be any process that you want that gets placed right here inside of the block is going to get run when the yield kicks in. Now after that process runs, so in this case where it prints out hey there, then it's going to go to sleep. So the loop is not going to ever stop. It is simply going to go to sleep for however many seconds we pass into it. And then it's going to go back and it's going to run the process again. So let's close this out and let's run it. So I'm going to say Ruby February the 2nd. And as you can see, it is going to say, hey there, hey there. It's going to pause for two seconds in between each one of them. And it's just going to keep on doing this. So this is something that if you are not, if you're kind of curious on why you'd ever want to build something like this out, this is usually in the realm of what you'd need to do for sysadmin kind of work, or if you're building scripts for a server, something like that. And technically what you'd usually do, like I said, is to build out some type of threading mechanism so that this isn't running in the current thread or you might have some issues and some conflicts. But for right now, this does exactly what I wanted, which was essentially to build a wrapper method that could take a block and then perform any process we pass into it on a given interval. So great job if you went through that. You now know how to create a interval method in Ruby.